Hey friends, it's Fenina. Welcome back to my channel for today's video. As you can see from the title of this video, it's gonna be another review on one of my favorite Korean brands, which is Moonsha. And I decided to do a video on this because for the last video that I made that I featured Moonsha, the feedback was really good and the viewers, I think, were really interested. So I decided to do another video, but of course, different products from Moonsha. This Moonsha line is actually called Lisa's Pick. So Lisa is from Blackpink and if you know me, you know I love Lisa from Blackpink. I actually got these from my sister. So she went to Bangkok last February and I told her to look for it. So she was able to find it in a random 7-Eleven store. So I got them and she actually bought all of the products from this Lisa's Pick line. It's actually a limited edition as well. So if you want to know more about the products from Moonshot's Lisa's Pick, then please do continue watching. So, wait. I just wanna say before I start the video that I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone stays healthy. And if you're not feeling well, please stay at home. Please, please, please do not go out yet. Wag natin dagdagan yung mga nagkakaroon ng coronavirus because it's really, really dangerous. And to keep your family safe and yung mga kasama nyo sa bahay, just stay at home. If you're not feeling well, please, umilom na kayo ng medicine. If you feel like you have coronavirus, please go see a doctor right away. So, yeah. Just a disclaimer, I'm not wearing any makeup on my face right now. All I did was I prepped my skin. So, I did my skincare routine, which is I washed my face with cleanser and then put toner and then moisturizer so I have no makeup yet as you can see I have a lot of blemishes I think because of the weather anyway let us start with the video so the first product that I'll be showing is called multi protection UVCC it has SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 it doesn't really say anything about the product so I will be reading the description of this product from my phone it has a broad spectrum SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 protection to create a thin layer to keep your skin from harmful substances enhances adherence and longevity of face makeup and prevents makeup from breaking down under sweat and oil and um, it also fills in pores to create a perfect canvas for base makeup. So basically, you can use this as a base makeup. The benefit of it is it can also serve as a sunblock. So I'll be showing you guys how the actual product looks like on my face. Again, this is called Multi-Production UV CC Special Edition because it's again Lisa's pick and it has a SPF 50+, plus, PA++++. Plus, 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 plus. It's really small. Wait, before I put this on my face, please disinfect first. Let us get to it. If I fast forward, go na lang. So, a little really goes a long way for this product. So, worth it naman tong maliit na tube na to. And it's under 400 pesos. And then, what I do is just I put it like this. Then, I just use my ring fingers. Actually, not my ring. My ring and my middle finger. Para mas madali siyang kalat. So again, this product can serve as a base makeup. The benefit of it is that it has SPF 50 PA++, so it has protection then from the UV rays. What's good about this is that it doesn't leave white cut and it can even out your skin tone. So that's it. It doesn't provide you full coverage, medium. Super light lang talaga ng coverage niya. So if you wanna like um, takpan yung eye, eye bags nyo, kailangan nyo pa rin mag concealer. It brightens your face as well. So it looks like this. This product doesn't give you full coverage. Pwede ka naman mag-layer, although hindi naman talaga kailangan kasi it serves as a base makeup lang talaga. It protection siya against UV rays. And then, hindi din siya heavy on the skin. It's super light. Parang wala. Parang wala lang talaga siya. It's not even sticky at all. It's nice. I like it. The next product that I'll be showing is called the Powder Fixer Special Edition. So, I told my sister to get me two shades kasi hindi ako sure kung ano shade ko. So, she got me the 202 and the 301. As I said, I've been using this for like a month already. So, hindi ko na makita yung packaging nitong 301. But I decided to use the 301 na lang kasi nga, 
Uh, medyo light yung color niya. So, the actual product looks like this. Ayan siya. So, may kasama siyang puff and then this one. It's really small. If I compare it sa iPhone, ganyan lang siya talaga kaliit. Oh. It's really small. Very handy. I forgot to mention, dun sa packaging ng mga products itong Lisa's Pick, merong signature niya, which I super love kasi... I don't know, I started collecting black pink stuff, so I think I'm gonna collect this as well. Anyway, so let's get to it. For the powder, I'm gonna read something about this powder. The benefits of this powder is that it has a broad spectrum SPF 27 PA++ protection, so it also has protection against UV rays. And then it is a powder type makeup fixer infused with micro particles to cover up imperfections and set your makeup in place. So the two colors available are 202 Vanilla Beige and 301 which is Sand Beige. I'm just gonna show you how it looks like on my face. So the powder fixer is actually less than 400 pesos then I think. So I'm just gonna put the link sa Yes Style because hindi nga siya available dito sa Philippines although my resellers naman. Pero yun, um, if you wanna order online lang, ayan siya. Actually, maganda to pang set ng makeup because kapag naglalagay ako ng concealer, ito yung ginagamit ko minsan pang set. Namamatify niya yung face and it's not heavy on the face as well. So, maalis niya yung shine sa face niyo. Yeah. What I like about this powder is it doesn't turn cakey after some time. I have dry skin and hindi din nagmumukhang dry yung skin ko even if tumagal na yung powder na to sa face ko. I really love this powder for setting and for retouches. So the pros of this product is that it's really compact. It also has a sun protection. It's light on the face as well. It doesn't give your face a cakey look. I really like it. The last product that I'll be showing from this line is called the Cream Paint Stain Fit Special Edi Edition. So, um, I asked my sister to buy me two shades, which is the Rosy Claret and the Ginger Coral. I'm gonna swatch these for you guys, but before that, I'm gonna read something about this product as well from my phone. So, this product is a lightweight, long-lasting lip stain that keeps radiant color throughout the day. It glides on smoothly without any sticky texture. So, I'm gonna first swatch for you guys the Rosy Claret shade. Again, this is less than 500 pesos only, so it's really worth it. The applicator looks like this. Okay, so, I'm gonna swatch it for you guys here. Again, this is the Rosy Claret. Can you see that? That's just one glide. It's just one swipe. And it's really, really pigmented. I'm gonna swatch also the other one beside the rosy claret so that you guys can see the difference this is the ginger coral so as you can see yung rosy claret more on reddish pink and yung ginger coral is more on pinkish orange totally different shades talaga yung binili ko i'm gonna swatch first the rosy claret on my lips it's so pigmented, guys. One thing that I noticed about this product lang is that parang it's oil-based. And I like the color kasi parang nakakaputi siya ng teeth. So, it looks like this. Also, again, this is a stain. So, pwede siyang sa cheeks nyo. Although, sobrang pigmented dito, guys. I don't think pwede siya i-apply directly sa cheeks kasi... Baka magmukha tayong itlog na pula. So, ito na lang. What I do is like this. And then, put it here. Super pigmented talaga. So, I think kailangan konti lang yung ilalagay nyo. When you put sa cheeks nyo, do not do like that. Sorry, mali yung ginawa ko. Kailangan dab-dab lang. Kasi pag ginano nyo, ma-irritate yung skin nyo. So, it looks like this on the cheeks. Okay, so my camera died and I decided to continue vlogging by filming here sa aking webcam. And I'm not really used to filming a vlog sa webcam. So forgive me if I am not looking directly on the camera lens. The last shade that I'm going to try is this one. It is the Ginger Coral. I think the Ginger Coral is more on Lisa's shade. Um, As I said, it's oily but then it dries up easily then. It's easily spreadable as well there you don't see any dry patches i myself have like dry lips so sometimes it's really choppy but then itong um lip product na to it doesn't dry out 
it doesn't dry my lips so I like it so thank you guys for watching my vlog I hope this was really helpful for you guys especially to the guys who's interested in buying this line from Moonshot if you have any video suggestions please do comment below and thank you for watching give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't and click on that bell icon to get notified whenever I post something thanks for watching guys see you in my next one bye